Hello, welcome to New Day Restoration. My name is Danny Diaz. If you are new here, I hope by the end of this video you will uh, subscribe. And to everyone else who's tuning in, thank you so much for supporting this channel. Um, I hope that you will share and like this video. I would love to get this video out to as many um, people as possible. I have a word of encouragement that the Lord gave me. I received a Oh, you guys, God is so good. I received, this is juicy, okay? I'm, I was so excited to share this. I had to go to work today. So I was so excited to record this. I've been wanting to record this all day long. You have no idea because it's so good. So anyways, um, yeah, so he showed me, he gave me a vision last night. And I know that he gave me this vision because so many of us are hanging on by a thread. There's so many people that I get messages from that want to quit. They want to throw in the towel. They don't believe that it really will happen. They don't know if they were called to stand. They don't know if their spouses will ever be saved or will come back to God. You know, there's so many um, thoughts that, uh, you know, Satan throws at us because he wants us to quit. So I know that the Lord gave me this vision because he wants to encourage you and is telling you to stand on the promise. Whoa, this is so good. You guys have no idea. I'm so excited. So um, please share this with someone. Please share it. Put it out there um, in hopes that it will get over to the right person. So last night. Um, I was in heavy intercession. Um, I have a prayer uh, wall that I just created. Um, I have a Facebook group that's attached to uh, New Day Restoration. So if you are looking for support um, and you are looking to learn more about standing, definitely seek uh, New Day Restoration out on Facebook and join. Um, I post a lot there and I also post uh, different events. Um, we're coming up on a... Um, support night soon. I have to plan that out. So definitely come um, and, and seek us out on Facebook. And also you can go on to newdayrestoration.com. So I have this prayer wall um, of many of the standards that are in this group with their spouses, pictures of, the, of them and their spouse um, with their names attached on this prayer wall. So I went in that room and I just started interceding and warring and I specifically was praying that scales would be removed um, from our spouse's eyes. And then the, the other thing that um, I ended in prayer with, I just kept praying over and over, God, please give us a miracle. Please give us a miracle. Please let us see. Let someone um, get a phone call that their spouse is coming back. You know, let someone get a, a message about um, their spouse repenting and coming back to the Lord or someone getting saved. So that's how I ended my prayer. And I was pretty tired because like I said, I was warring for a, a long time, a while. My throat was like, my throat was sore. So I came to bed and as soon as I got in bed, I had a vision and it was just one object, but it's so powers, powerful. So it was an image of a dreidel. Now I don't really have too much knowledge about uh, dreidels. You know, I've seen them before. I knew that they were wooden and they're kind of like a spinning top that kids play with, um, usually Jewish kids. That's all I really knew about it, right? So when I saw it, I was like, okay, God, what are you trying to show me? What are you trying to tell me? So I went to Google. You know, we always do that. I went to Google and I looked up dreidel. So you, you guys, God is so good. Okay, I'm sorry. I get excited. So I look it up and it's a Yiddish word and it means to turn around. Okay, that's amazing, right? It gets even more amazing. So I'm like, okay, okay. So I started to do some more research on it. So a dreidel is a four-sided spinning top with Hebrew letters printed on each side. It's used to play as a popular children's game during Hanukkah. So there are four letters on the dreidel, one on each side. One word or letter, excuse me, is none. These are Hebrew uh, letters. So the first one is none. Second one is gemel. Third is hey. Fourth is shin. And it translates. <laughs> it translates to a great miracle happened there. Woo! Keeps getting better, you guys. So like I said, I ended my prayer with 
God, we want to see a miracle. We want to see a miracle. And God gives me this before I go to bed after my prayer. So that's what um, it translates to. A great miracle happened there. So then I'm going to um, explain to you what each letter means. So I started to do some research on each letter, letter. Excuse me. So none is said to represent both faithfulness and the reward to faithfulness. Gamel is to deal bountifully, recompense, and justified repayment. Hey, behold, look, reveal. <laughs> this is so good, <laughs> you guys. And then shin, steadfast, change, return, year, peace. So God is so good. So I'm sure you guys are kind of getting a picture here, right? What God is saying. God is saying he is going to do it. What he said, he means, you guys. He is going to do it. If you have not listened to that prophetic message that um, I posted a few days ago, I think it was about four days ago, um, please go check it out. It was a dream that God gave me showing me that we are going to see a lot of prodigal children, um, prodigal spouses and wayward spouses come home this year. And he just keeps confirming the same thing over and over and over. There is an acceleration happening and God is going to do this for us. So after God um, showed me all of this and I, you know, after I did all my research, I asked God, I said, can you please give me a verse? Can you please give me a verse um, that can, can show me? I already, I already knew what he was saying, but I always like to follow it up with um, confirmation from a verse. So he gives me numbers 23, 19 through 20. And this is what it says. This is the new King James version. God is not a man that should lie, nor a son of a man that he should repent. He has said and will not do. Okay, he has said and will he not do? Or has he spoken and will not make it good? Behold, I have received a command to bless. He has blessed and I cannot reverse it. He is saying that he will not go back on his promise. It's going to happen. He's not going to reverse it. So you need to have faith. Stand on the promise, you guys. Be expectant. Be expectant because I really believe we are going to start seeing hearts being changed over, hearts being convicted, hearts being returned back to the Lord. And you guys already know it's a matter of time when their hearts are back to the Lord God returns them back to us. So I just um, want to give you this encouraging message. I want to tell you to keep standing, keep interceding, fasting, praying, you know, do all of those things. Um, we should be praying uh, for this, this message. Let's pray into it. Um, continue to pray into this. And please remember um, this, uh, this vision uh, that God had, had given me um, because I believe he wants us to pray into this. He is so good. Like, I just want to cry right now. <laughs> I'm so emotional because God is so good, you guys. He's so good. He's so amazing. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. So I hope that after you hear this message, you just praise him. Praise, on, praise him and declare the victory. Declare the victory. Declare that it's already done and that your spouse, spouse's heart will be aligned with the Lord and with you. So I hope this encourages you guys. I love you. God bless. Have a great night.